Hey guys, Chronically Spaced here. It's been a really long time since I made a dolly video, so I thought that I would do one really quick to show you uh, what I've been working on. So, right now I'm working on a wig for my Kobe doll LJ Logan. Um, you can see here I did like a. The underside is kind of like off, oh, maybe you can't see the color at all. Let's come over here. There we go. The underside's kind of like a dark red burgundy color, and then the top's like a lavenderish blue. Um, and I actually, it's my first time hand dyeing the alpaca myself, so I've been having a lot of fun with it. Um, it doesn't really look like anything from the front yet. <laughs> and then this is my little helper. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about you. <laughs> um, but so here, here's what I've been kind of working with. Um, and then I have this other bunch that I dyed yesterday. Sorry if the camera work is weird. But you can see it's a lot bluer. So I think I'm gonna put this stuff through another dye bath and just kind of add a little bit of purple to it and see if I can get it to match better. But that is what I'm working on right now. Okay, so here's my setup for dyeing. Um, I actually got this from Bean Sprout Momo on Tumblr, sorry. Um, phew, hi. But yeah, I will link to that post in the description, but basically this is a cold water bath. It's just like around two or three cups of water with like a tablespoon of vinegar. I honestly just kind of eyeballed it. And then this is the dye bath. Um, since I'm just trying to add a little bit of purple, I, I barely put any powdered dye in and it's two cups of hot water and then this is a second cold water bath with vinegar um, that I let it sit in for a bit just to kind of help the colors finish setting up and what I will do is I'm gonna let this go for 10 minutes because I don't want it to color too much and then um, I'm gonna rinse out this first pan and I'm gonna put cold water with conditioner in it and once it's done soaking in that second bath, I'm gonna let it soak in the conditioners just to kind of soften up the locks a little bit so they're not like super dried out whenever I go to brush them after they're dry. All right, so I've got it in the cold bath. It's uh, gone through the dye. I actually didn't leave it in the full 10 minutes. I think it's gonna be a little more purple than I wanted. Um, I won't really know until it's dry, but it's definitely looking really purpley, um, but that's okay. I may have enough to finish up with uh, his wig, but I do have a whole other like little half ounce bundle that I can dye, and I know the ratio that I did for the original amount, so I can do that, but um, yeah, if this doesn't work out, I can always use it for something else. I've been wanting to make my little pookie pookie a wig, and that would be plenty of fiber for her, but what I'm going to do now is I am going to actually rinse this and wash it with some shampoo and then I am going to let it soak in the conditioner okay so it's not totally dry and I haven't combed it out or anything since it's still damp but yeah it's definitely too purple <laughs> I think I should have done it in a cold water bath so it wouldn't have taken quite so dark but that's okay um, I'll just have to dye because I don't think Oh, I'm not gonna have enough. So I'll just have to dye the other half ounce or so that I've got. That'll be fine. Mm -hmm. 